Today, with the exponential rise in the number of malware strains, ransomware, and cyber attacks, our endpoints represent the easiest target for attackers to go after. Gartner Research states that 44% of reference customers for EPP solutions have been successfully compromised. And the hard fact is that most breaches start with endpoints compromised by malware. Today, we'll take you through an overview of Komodo's advanced endpoint protection and show you how, with Komodo's true default deny platform, you can completely protect you and your organization from malware, ransomware, and cyber attack. Let's dive right in. From the start, AEP takes a holistic approach to security. You'll notice that we start off with Komodo's complete device management solution, IT and Security Manager, or ITSM. ITSM gives you a complete view of all of the devices in your organization and includes all the ways you'd expect to enroll devices and individuals. ITSM also allows you to control and manage the complete device from OS and application updates and patches to defining and pushing device and security configurations, allowing your administrators to have complete control over managed devices. And when it comes to mobile, additional functionality is available. You can define devices as BYOD, do a remote corporate wipe, send messages, reset passwords, and more. ITSM represents the pinnacle of functionality, and while managing all your endpoints provides increased insight into your organization's digital footprint, this is really just the beginning when it comes to advanced endpoint protection. Let's move to the endpoint now and talk about Komodo Client. While ITSM controls and manages your endpoints and helps keep them safe with policies and updates, Komodo Client actively protects your endpoint with multiple tightly integrated layers of defense, giving your endpoints a true default deny security posture without any of the usability issues traditionally associated with default deny. In fact, with Komodo's True Default Deny platform, you get default allow productivity with default deny security. Let's take a look at how this actually works. You can see here there are controls for AV, firewall, virus scope, and auto containment, giving you the ability to control Komodo client settings. We're running on a real machine here, no VMs, but an honest to goodness Windows 10 machine. You're gonna see Komodo's advanced endpoint protection in action. First, let's find some malware to play with. There are a couple of sites where researchers upload malware. Let's download a few of them and save them with a unique name. We'll call this one, This May Be Malware. Let's download another. And one more, just to have a good sample. Now we're gonna run a few of these malware files and see what happens. We'll run this may be malware five, six, seven, 10, 11. Lots of pop-up boxes already, good stuff. That's actually what we wanna see. This one looks promising. I'm gonna click on yes, leading to some more pop-up boxes, fantastic. You'll notice the green border around the pop-ups. That's a configurable setting, and in this case, it alerts me that the application is running in automatic containment. And let's talk about automatic containment for a moment. What's happening in the background is that Komodo Client, through its multiple interlocking layers of defense, determined that at least one of the applications I've run is unknown, meaning that it's not a known good or a known bad file. Unknown files are placed into automatic containment, represented here by the green border. Notice I'm using this application as I normally would. The only indicator I have that it's running in containment is the green border. Komodo's container is extremely lightweight, on the order of 10 megs of RAM, and only contains the files that Komodo client has identified as unknown. These unknown files are then run in automatic containment while they're being analyzed by Komodo's cloud-based sandbox platform, Valkyrie. More on Valkyrie in a moment. Let's continue to see what happens here. We get a couple more pop-up boxes, all with a green border, which tells me that my machine is completely protected from whatever nasty malware this may actually be. 
Now let's talk about what's happening in the background. The unknown files are being sent to Valkyrie to determine if they're malicious or not. Valkyrie uses static, dynamic, and even human analysis to determine a trusted file verdict. Once this verdict is reached, that information is provided back to the client and to the entire Komodo network, for that matter. We can take a look at Valkyrie and see what it's doing. You can see that this may be malware10.exe has made its way to Valkyrie and it's been determined that it is indeed malware. And going a bit deeper, we can see how Valkyrie's actually determined this. In this case, Valkyrie used static and dynamic analysis to determine the trusted file verdict. Digging even deeper, we can see that through static analysis, Valkyrie has labeled it highly suspicious. But it's really through dynamic analysis that Valkyrie has made its final determination. We see that this application logs user keystrokes, reads memory of another process, writes to the address space of another process, creates child processes, injects code to another process, and on and on and on. It's pretty clear that this is actually a pretty nasty piece of malware. Going back to the endpoint, let's take a look at what we have running in containment. Through Komodo Client, we can see that there are several processes labeled run virtually, meaning that they are currently running in containment and therefore pose zero risk to the host system. And here's the fun part. In order to get rid of all this nasty malware, all I have to do is reset the container. So we open up Sandbox Tasks and click on Reset Sandbox. And just like that, boom, all those processes are completely eliminated. If we now go back to Active Tasks, they're no longer listed. And though we ran a ton of malware here, our system was never touched or compromised in any way. Komodo Advanced Endpoint Protection kept my system clean and protected while allowing me to work freely without limitations. But don't take my word for it, prove it to yourself. Contact us for more information and to schedule your own live demonstration. Thanks.